Hi, my name is Polly Hart, and I'm going to tell you how to mop a floor. I'm not going to try to go over anything that you've already learned. Um, I watched a video from E. Howe, They're Idiots. So, uh, you can get a shot of this, Jennifer. This is your basic mop system. Um, this is the handle. It's got a little turned out here. Get your head in there. This is a scotch right pad I put in just the very, at the very top. Okay. This is your ringer. This is your bucket. You see, most of the time there are lines in the bucket to tell you what's too tall, what's too much to So, you just kind of go with the bottom of the ringer. See that? Alright. What you need to do is you need to first move everything out of the way. Alright? Then you sweep it. That's the obvious stuff. Um, okay. Uh, Alright, and then you hit the trouble spots. Like, let's say there's uh, grease. You need to get yourself a good degreaser, or ammonia, or an oxyclean, which is just hydrogen peroxide, or ammonia, or whatever the spot calls for, whatever type of floor you're cleaning. Use your discretion on that. I'm not going to try to tell you what the solution is. The solution that I'm using today is uh, bleach and sodium lauryl sulfate. I just get the cheapest um, dish soap that I can and put it in there, there's no lotions, there's no fragrances. So, dirt cheap. Two dollars for supplies will last you like, uh, depending on what you clean, maybe a hundred buckets of uh, solution. Um, all right, now here's where they are just idiots. All right, you notice that I just put it in there, didn't ring it up? Okay, this is what you do. Mopping is actually called collecting, mop to collect. They were just like, doo, 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 doo. okay, we're done. So, what you need to do is the first thing after you get your trouble spots is you get it wet. Right? We're getting this wet. We're actually getting it all wet. So, they call that mopping. That's, in, that's dumb. I, I can't understand why they would just say that. Um, that's part one. That's getting it wet. But the next thing you need to do is actually mop, get it up. You see water with hydro, uh, hydrostatics, with uh, the way water works is that you've got your floor and then you've got a layer of water and the dirt will lift, it'll come to the top of the water and it'll become, you know, fluid and then you're just, you're moving dirt around when you're doing this. So, if you see anything crazy, that's what that little scotch pad is for. Boom. Uh, okay, so now we've got it wet. So, <laughs> most people say, okay, I'm done mopping. Uh, no. Okay, what you need to do now is you need to go back over. And once, let's just say I've gotten the whole thing, and the whole thing is wet, right? My water is filthy. You can still clean with filthy water because all you're going to do is collect now. You're just going to go about and collect the water. But let's just say I, you know, come out. It doesn't matter if it's cold or hot on the second time around. I just use hot water all the time. If I'm out of hot water, no big deal. I'll use cold water. But then I'm done. So I'll put my ringer in here, and I'll get it as dry as possible, which involves a couple of spins on this common rag mark here. And I just, I don't push, I just fall. Alright, so this is dry as possible. So voila, very light mop. No pun intended. So now I've got it. I always, I always teach my people, imagine that there's a racquetball right here. And they talked about the figure eight. But you really want to make sure that you're collecting, because all your dirt's going to go to come to the bottom there. So you want to make sure that you're always collecting, always collecting. And if I had a really dirty floor, I would have, if I did this, I'd have a large line of dirt on the floor right there. So what I do is I'll bring it up, and as you're bringing it up, it's co it's connecting itself to the mop. So then you come back, put it in the water agitate a little bit, come back, dry your mop out again, collect all that water that you just, you know, from your whole floor. So, hopefully, this is <laughs> much more informative than the other really cool video with all those cool effects, but not much knowledge. See that beautiful figure eight? Imagine that that thing is just sitting right there. Watch this. This little guy, can you see that? It's a piece of tape. No. Okay, well, I'm, I've, got, I've got it. I've collected this little, I can get a whole bunch of trash this way. And if, I can always just make sure I've got the trash just by spinning this thing around. Even, you know, new footprints. 
and then I've got all the trash right there. Sometimes I'll even just go over like outside. Check it out. There you go. Got a clean surface. Ta da! Okay. Anyway, hopefully that is much more informative. And uh, did I miss anything? No. Again, on the solution, use whatever you feel like using. Uh, you can spend a lot of money. I won't mention chemicals or brands, but you can spend a lot of money on it. Uh, if bleach soap doesn't work, try alkyl, uh, ammonia, uh, but never mix bleach and ammonia together. Okay, bye. My name is Polly Hart. Check out my website, polyhart.tk.